just before you share that certificate of completion i have a message for you i have done that repeatedly in the past you know when com after completing a course i would be so eager to go out there and share that certificate of completion but you know that effort you can actually maximize it by doing one of these two things first you can apply the knowledge from that course on the project and make sure that while you are sharing that certificate of completion you actually had a link to the documentation or an article you post about how you're able to apply that knowledge and skill to do to something this way number one your potential recruiter when they see it it is solid thing to show the trick that oh you're not just taking the course you're applying the knowledge Number two, people that follow you, you can also get more followers because a lot of people don't know what to know now. And because you help them to see a way where they can actually build or do something similar to that or see how you're able to apply the knowledge and the skill you gain from a course on a project, that's a huge inspiration to a lot of people. So you are inspiring people, you are becoming better, you're also inspiring people and creating a digital social footprint for your potential employers or even people you would like to gain access to within your network later in the future. All right, so I have a student profile who learned something on DAX modeling and was able to apply this same principle. In fact, there is no certificate of completion for his course because it's not really after a certificate of completion, but he learned and he was able to apply this knowledge, document it well on GitHub. So I'm going to be sharing my screen and show you his GitHub project. Yes? and how I was able to document it and the different aspect of it. So let's switch to my screen right now. Right with me is GitHub repository link for data doctor of. You know, the reason why I like using this as an example is because this person is still a student, a university student, actually a medical student, you know, still in school and learning data analysis. And he was able to apply the same concept you necessarily don't have to be taking a course it can even be a youtube video you are trying to learn something from but try to pick a unique data where you can apply similar thing on so that you are not directly copying the same person and this way you can document this is all he did he has them documented uh, the question would be, oh, I don't even understand GitHub. How can I push all my projects like this to GitHub and document them? So watch out for the next video. That is why I would advise that you should like and subscribe to this video and also to this channel and also use the bell, you know, icon so that you can get notified once that next video drops. You know, easily, this is it. He's saying, no, oh, this data model with Power BI, that's all he's trying to learn. And look at the introduction session. This project is to display my data modeling skills acquired in the data analytics structure. So he's taking a training and he's saying, oh, this particular you know, project is just help him display or showcase his data modeling skill. And the problem statement is an imaginary case scenario I thought about after seeing the data set. That's impressive. You know, he actually, it was the one who, after getting access to a data set, he thought about the business use case. He created it for himself. Oh, this is the data. Let us assume, you know, this is the business around it. Let us assume these are the stakeholders. Let us assume, you know, things like this. And he concluded here that the stakeholders have already are uh, hereby entrusted data doctor, which is his own alias now, with carrying out a quick analysis and report. After thinking critically, three questions need answers. So it took some time to think about the data. If I do any chart or or bar or, or tables, you know, from this data, what will they answer? Okay, I can do total sales. I can do this. Okay, you know, you can do those things. All right, let me quickly set them as questions so that when you now do them, you are providing answers to them. And that's exactly what is doing here. You know, which region or location has the highest sales made? Which sales rep has made the highest sales? Which of our customers purchase highest sales? Uh, okay, the other thing here around the data comes, you know, denormalized or not, is just something he's, he's, he's talking about. So you can actually follow it as well. Data was normalized. That is, the information was categorically separated into different sheets or tables resulting into five tables. And these are the tables. So he then go ahead and do data transformation. He explained what he did there. In some scenario, you can even include screenshot of those uh, of the screen or how it looks when you were transforming the data. The data modeling, which 
is really interesting. If this guy can actually connect these tables together and do this kind of models, then he has gotten the concept. And that is what he's trying to showcase here, that I now understand these things, I connected these things together. And he built visuals from it, data analysis started sharing this. Don't get me wrong, there are things that it needs to improve, for example, the teams, you know, the color, or say it should have label, you should have data label here so that I can actually know what is the value and not just try to use your height to get, you know, to measure it. But the fact is, it follows the principle. Now you can just edit and make the changes, but he has done what needs to be done first. And you can see the skill and, the, you know, what is learning. Moved on here, on and on, continue to document. In cases like this, you can easily pass feedback. Oh, you know, if it's an interview now and he's showcasing this as project work, one of the things you have done. Oh, when you have many categories like this, it's not advisable to use a pie chart because it becomes difficult to actually really get the message after the the, uh, the amount now that has the highest i think that's organic i really don't pay attention it's difficult to start tracking all these other things but if it's a bar chart you know a, a tree map you know you can actually get more value directly from that those are feedback of course um on and on like that you see he also goes back and say conclusions and recommendations New York is and he made his conclusions and made recommendation. Do you see that? This is a student and he's learning data analysis. I know this effort can really be somehow you know demanding for you, but you maximize. Now this guy can go to any interview. If this is all he has, he can go to any interview and defend this. And this effort will go a long way. This to me is already a CV. Meanwhile, he has more than this. I'm going to go back here and share one more. So that you say, is it just that one? I'm going to click on this Power BI dashboard to see if that is the next project. Okay, that is it. Global Superstar says analysis for 2016. Same thing. He has pushed all his you know data here and uh, he included this image. This introduction. I came across the data set online and admired how rich the data is as i have been trying to get my hands dirty with a very rich data set to practice my skills of data cleaning analysis and visualization he sets problem statement he talks about data sourcing not until i came up with the above mentioned questions did i went ahead to get the data i then downloaded the csv file and extracted it into power bi for cleaning analysis and visualizations so he, he talked about it he talked about data transformation. He talks about modeling again. He put the head the visual. Wow. You see, this guy is improving. But because he's documenting this thing and he's taking feedback. And he talks about this. He, this is not perfected yet. I've gone ahead to encourage him. Oh, follow the same format. Uh, you've not completed the interpretation for all this analysis. And you've not given us a recommendation and conclusion. But this is highly commendable. So imagine you took a course in Power BI, you took a course in data analysis in Python, you can actually still document your skill. The key takeaway here is not to demonstrate, to show us the certificate. We want to be sure that you've been able to translate the knowledge to skill. So you see, it is something really, really valuable and I encourage that you start doing it going forward. Thank you and bye.